Hi, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. And in this video, we are going to solve the problem. The mean SDK version cannot be smaller than certain num certain number. Uh, let's suppose you are developing a Flutter mobile application, but whenever you try to run it on Android, you are getting the error that the min SDK version cannot be smaller than certain number declared in any library. It usually happens whenever you try to include some third-party libraries. So to solve this problem, what you need to do is that you need to open build.gradle file in your project. So uh, there are two ways by the way to open this. First of all, what you can do is that you can just manually expand the Android folder and then expand the app folder and go to the build.gradle file. But if you want to use a shortcut, then what you can do is that you can uh, type in command plus P from your keyboard. And then from here, you can choose build.gradle file, the second option. And this will open the build.gradle file in your editor. And from here, you need to scroll down and in the line number 53, just like this, you can see that from here, what we can do is that we can just change this number to 21. And this will automatically change, you know, solve this problem for us. But if you want to solve this for all your project so that, you know, you don't have to do it every time, you can do it globally as well. So let's see how to do that. You need to find out that where is your, you know, SDK installed in your computer. In my case, uh, Flutter is in installed into the documents and inside documents, I have Flutter folder and inside Flutter folder, I have packages. You need to click on packages, then go to the uh, Flutter tools, then go, go to the uh, Gradle, uh, then click on flutter.gradle file. Now right click on this, open with your favorite editor. And just like this, from here, what you can do is that you can just change this number to 21 or whatever you, you know, like whatever your project require. And then just click on save and just save this file and then what you can do is that you can just rerun this project and it will uh, solve our problem. So let's see if it really solves this problem with this product. And if yes, then it will work for you as well. By the way, if you are new on my YouTube channel, then please make sure to subscribe and also like this video. And don't forget to tell me if this video is helpful for you in the comments and I will bring more and more videos for you related to Flutter. And that's it. Let's wait for this. Now our main problem is solved for sure, but it is saying that the there is not enough space on my emulator. So uh, although it's it's not related to what we've you know faced earlier, our problem is for sure solved. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.